guys, we're really rolling now. So what, we had five eggs yesterday? Six. Six eggs yesterday. Uh, the day before that, we had three. And the day before that, we had two. And so we're really rolling now. So this is what's left of our town eggs. You can see they're white, plain, simple, boring eggs. And I paid $7 a dozen. And here is our eggs. So these are these two obviously are duck eggs. They're way big. But these, look at all these multicolored, different like facets and shades and so much character. And like, look at this one. It's like green. It's a green egg. We have green eggs in ham later. We've got some dark browns. We've got some kind of lighter browns. And then, of course, we got our duck eggs, you know plethora of different uh, eggs from all the different kind of birds. We got uh, Americana, Bard Rock, Rhode Island. So we're going to be frying up a duck egg. We're going to be frying up, I'm going to probably just pick one of these random ones. I kind of like the way these look. So this is just kind of your classic farm farm egg. And then we're going to be uh, using the uh, white eggs. This is just like, they're supposedly cage free, but these are just the uh, cage free, like whatever USDA, like typical generic egg. So we're going to be frying these up and we're going to see kind of the differences. So we're going to start Let's start with our town egg. How about that? All right, so we got a nice yellow uh, yolk. You know, this has got a slight tint of yellow to it, but let's, uh, let's fry up the farmhouse egg here. So you can see, I don't know how well it shows in the GoPro, but you have a very nice golden yellow on this homestead egg. It just looks nicer. I think the, I'm, um, I like the, uh, the little dark golden like honey hue. So let's do the duck egg. Right next to it here, we got our big jumbo sized duck egg. This is uh, also off the farm. Obviously way bigger yolk. We got a really nice golden yellow hue right there. Uh, that's very similar. Not quite as dark, but still pretty dark as the farmstead oak yolk. And then we've got our our town bought oak yolk that is uh, just, it's just not as, it's just a little subdued. But the taste is all that matters, so let's get to the taste. So we have our eggs here. Let's try the bought egg. It's not bad, it's like an egg. Now, first of all, you can definitely tell, look at this. Look at like how golden that yolk is compared to this yolk. That is crazy difference. So this is the store-bought egg, and this is the homestead egg. So let's try it. So it has, it's just richer. It has more flavor. I mean, it sounds weird, but it tastes more like an egg. Okay, let's dive into this duck egg here. The duck egg yolk is also, it's not quite as uh, significant as the chicken egg but it's a little more yellow as well. So let's give it a try. And it definitely has a different flavor. I'm not really sure exactly how to explain it. It's almost like uh, super, super rich. Like uh, I always think, uh, so like you use duck eggs in cooking and stuff and there's, they are just known for being more rich, but it just definitely feels like a heartier flavor, like more filling, unique taste. So if you haven't tried duck eggs, highly recommend it. If you're buying store-bought eggs, get yourself some chickens. So you can have some good, beautiful homestead eggs. So uh, the weather's kind of warm today and we got uh, our old garden. It's just kind of basically just some bare, bare dirt. We're not having a garden there uh, this year. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with it, but what we're gonna do is I noticed that, uh, you know, Weston's getting pretty good with the tractor, but he hasn't really messed with like the front end loader and, and controlling that. So I'm just gonna have him go out there and we're just gonna kind of, I'm gonna to show him how to do everything. And then I just want him to mess with it and kind of feel comfortable with it in a, an environment where he can't get hurt or we can't like mess anything up, destroy anything. So uh, he'll know for when he is in those environments where he's got to be able to control the thing a little bit better. Dig into the ground right there. Scoop, scoop up a little bit of dirt. What? Dig into the ground. There you go. Well, not so much. Tilt it up. Tilt it, keep tilting. All right, stop. Now go down, the whole thing, there you go. Now you're gonna keep going. Yeah, your tires are gonna come up a little bit. And then as you're digging, you're gonna bring that scoop around. Bring that scoop around. There you go. There you go, you got some dirt up. You just didn't get it in the bucket. So just keep practicing that, all right?
we got the top bolt off. That was just two screws, and then you just disconnect the water line. I'm trying to keep as much water off the floor as possible. So now I just got these two screws here in the back on each side. Take that off, and then we can remove the toilet and hopefully see what's inside. It's. I don't know. Do you see it? Yeah, I can see it. But it's wedged in there. What do you got? Yeah, I think I got it on this, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough to pull it out. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Don't flush toys down the toilet. <laughs> Thomas, the train engine is uh, successfully extracted. So I just happen to have this old toilet gasket in my little plumbing box. It's from like the 1980s or something, but that's back when they built stuff good. So we're going to throw it on there. We're gonna make do with that. Put weight on it. Put weight on it. <laughs> wait. Well, we got everything clean under there, so at least our toilet will be nice and clean. This is the part where I always get nervous because I gotta turn the water line on and see if it's leaking. And if not, we gotta do everything else we just did again. Oh, scared me. That's filling up, so we check for leaks under here. Where we screwed that. I'm not too worried about that. I'm more worried about like the main toilet part with that old yeah. ring. Just waiting for water to come rushing out of there. We gotta release it into the bowl. Now it's in the bowl, so flush it down and see if it we get water that comes out from underneath it here. So we get water from coming from here. That's we gotta reset the whole toilet. All this other stuff up here, no big deal. I can just take a couple of bolts off or screws, but this is this is what worries me. Because once you set it like that, wax ring is in there and it gets misformed or whatever, and if it's misaligned and mal misshaped, and then you gotta take the whole thing off and do it again. Well, we don't see any leaks. We just have to keep watching it. But you know what it does do that it didn't before? Flushes. Flushes way better without a toy in there. <laughs>